Good morning, Coastal. I was reading the other morning in our freeway book right before my group. And on page 53, I read this. It says, Jesus now invites us into the restful moments and his quiet mercies. Our great liberator does not shout or speak to us through a green floating head. If you read the whole thing, that makes sense. He is the God of Elijah who gently speaks. He wasn't in the earthquake or in the wind or in the fire. He was in the still small voice. And at this moment, he speaks to you of your emerging freedom. He says, come my beloved, open your eyes, awaken your heart, pull back the veil, your freedom is here. And it got me thinking of something that I had read in the Bible a couple weeks ago, and it's in 1 Kings chapter 19, and it starts in verse 11. And here the Lord says to Elijah, he says, go stand out on the mountain in, in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. And I could not imagine what was going through Elijah's mind at this moment of what is God gonna look like passing by? What will that, I don't know, my brain would have just gone crazy because that's how I think. But it says, then a great and powerful wind tore through the mountains, tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, there was an earthquake and the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. It says, when Elijah heard it, he pulled a cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. And how many times, I don't know about you guys, but I, if I was Elijah, I would expect God to be in the wind, to be in the tangible, to show up like fire, to be something that I can see, that I can comprehend and all of these different things. And I think so often I've made my relationship with God so busy. I've asked him for things and, and I'm constantly in our prayer time. It's not a two-way conversation. It's me just praying for the things that I want. And it's like, God, I, I need you to do a miracle here. I need you to do this here. I need you to do all these things. And it's like, God, I need to see you in the physical. So I need to see the fire come. I need to see the wind. I need to see these things that, that only make sense to my, my human brain. And, and God was like, no, 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 I'm in the, I'm in the gentle whisper. And there's a song by Cody Carnes called Nothing Else. And I love it because it really recenters my my relationship with God. And when I set aside time, when I'm setting t time in prayer, I love to listen to this song because it talks about, I'm sorry for the fact that I've set out my agenda. I'm sorry for the times where I've just gone through the motions. I'm sorry for the things that I've made it. I just wanna sit here in your presence. Nothing else means more than that right now. And so I'm gonna pray for you this morning. I'm gonna pray for me too, um, because I know when I try to set aside some quiet time to spend with God, my thoughts just start to go crazy. My to-do list plays, all of these things happen, but it's in those moments where I've been able to find the still small voice that I hear God so audibly. So will you pray with me this morning? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. God, I thank you for this book, even Freeway, the tie-in of the Bible and, and, and Freeway and this awesome opportunity that we have right now. But God, amidst, even the craziness of right now and even the craziness of our relationship with you, I pray that we would just be able to find some time to get quiet with you, that we would allow you to speak as well. It wouldn't just be our voice, but God, that we would just sit at your feet and allow you to speak to us. Allow that silence to take place. Allow um, just for you to just be present in that moment. God, I'm so grateful for your presence. I'm so grateful what can happen in your presence. God, I, I'm so grateful for the relationship that you provide. And God, I thank you for the ability to have direct contact with you because of your sacrifice that you made through your son, Jesus. God, I thank you for you who you are. I thank you for today. And I thank you for this time that we get to spend with you. It's in your name that we pray, amen. Well, I hope you guys have an incredible day today and we'll see you tomorrow.